December 9. The Great Conspirator. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. Psalm 33, 4. Even in the church, conspiracy theories fascinate large numbers of people. Whether side issues such as date setting and reinterpreting prophecy or out-and-out conspiracy theories regarding chemtrails or the faked moon landing, Christian believers can allow their time and energy to be absorbed by subjects that have no redemptive value and that have nothing to do with proclaiming the everlasting gospel. For a series of television programs on the subject of the Great Controversy, I interviewed individuals who believe in modern-day conspiracies. One man was convinced of the existence of Sasquatch, which he claimed to have seen on more than one occasion. Another was an outspoken advocate of the flat earth theory. What was fascinating about both men was that they appeared to believe in all conspiracy theories. Nothing seemed to be too outlandish. In their understanding, flying pterodactyls, tears in the space-time continuum, the existence of aliens, and innumerable government cover-ups were all very much in play. They were convinced the government is lying about virtually everything and that no one is to be trusted. They didn't believe in just one conspiracy theory. They seemed to believe them all. God's end time people should shun all unverifiable conspiracy theories. While it is true there are myriad mysteries and unanswered questions in the world, these are not the burden for those who have been called by God to live and proclaim the three angels' messages. There is, however, undoubtedly a vast conspiracy unfolding before our eyes. The world is being conditioned daily to receive the mark of the beast and reject the seal of the living God. The great conspirator is Satan, pulling strings behind the scenes like a master marionettist and pressing the world towards Earth's last great crisis. Let God's people be fixated on the cross, committed to reflecting the character of Jesus and dedicated to proclaiming and living the everlasting gospel. Speculation, a manufactured excitement, and an infatuation with shadowy theories do not prepare people for translation. They have the opposite effect. We want the truth, and we want Jesus. Anything less hinders spiritual growth.